Hello everybody and welcome back. Jefferson plays Minecraft. Oh, we are here slaying the fish on the unnamed server. I have also caught a tripwire hook and a water bottle. Very cool. Pretty much considered garbage. Spawn is just over there. This is my spawn building in progress. You see we had some Endermen visit in the night. I have placed uh, just some slabs over the open water here. I will work on the floor once I get it more dialed in. I've had a pig walking around on these rafters for days now. Kind of ridiculous. Uh, this is where I started the server. I will leave that room. That is my original mine shaft. And this building has just grown into place. I've worked on a driveway. Next will be a bridge connecting to spawn. I think it is coming along quite nice. I ran out of smooth stone. So we're going to take a break from this and head back over to my underground base. I removed the docks that were here. I'm going to replace that beam with more stone brick. And figure out my walls. I took out all of the doors I had going. It was just kind of a little chaos. Uh, but I'm going to go back to the base and set up the redstone on the sugarcane farm. And I will meet you back there when I have uh, all of my things in order. So we'll see you soon. Welcome back everybody. We are back at the base. You can see the wheat has finally finished growing. Oh, let's give that a quick harvest. I will show you the simple design here. Release the water. Everything flows down. Uh, I have actually AFK'd here for a few minutes. Uh, but it's just a simple switch behind there. Redstone running up to here, and it's pretty simple. Does the job very well, flows everything down into the hoppers, into there. I will replant that later. Right now, we are going to finish the sugarcane farm. I have uh, finished one half of it, but we still have one side to do, so let's get to it. That's a good start there. Jump back behind the business and check it out. Still some reds. It started laying out the next one. Right here we have 23 random items, random items, let's do cobble, 23, lights back up, dang it, I gotta stop swinging that stuff when I am talking, and it just runs down there, powers it, it's a bud switch, so we will repeat the process here. And hopefully we can get it right the first time. We got a regular piston with a block of sand on top. Furnace next to it with 23 random items. Random items. Random items. With a block comparator running into a block with 
redstone dust running into a repeater and down the line I missed twice bam and now we can drop in uh, yet to do I don't have any sugar cane on me is it gonna grow is it gonna grow is it gonna grow all right let's try it out should work first try oh yeah oh yeah haha <laughs> so that very efficient every time uh, sugar cane grow it harvests it all right that is all set make sure everything is lit up back here we can close it up and call it done very cool been working on this for a few days just had it kind of ready to be finished for a while now uh, that triggered it All right, that should be a jungle plank okay I think I have one left Oh yeah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Jungle plank. Sweet. All right, let's grab some sugar cane and plant it. Plant it. And just try the other side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love it. And again, this is a mumbo jumbo design. I think it came together very nice. In this texture pack, I like the uh, glowstone texture. And the roof really came together once I got those in. I need to replace those blocks. There we go. And we are done. I can harvest my cocoa beans here. Let's see if it fires one time. For the camera. Come on. Hello. So next on our project list will be an enchanting area in this section. Uh, I think I will work on a potion room first and continue enchanting items. I have gotten a protection for unbreaking three diamond leggings. I got my boots up to protection for unbreaking three feather falling four. Very nice. Still rocking this. That's good for a creeper blast protection and a fire protection diamond helmet. I am not excited about that. That's okay. Anybody? No? All right, I will clean this area up. Done. <laughs> and we'll be back in a minute when I start my next project. Sweet. Come on down to the sugar shack. 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 Hello, welcome back. We are here at spawn. I have opened up the sugar shack. 
it is a sugar farm sugar cane farm I use the same design that I put down in my caves I need to not swing my fists around here uh, you see the pistons in the back maybe they will operate this guy in the corner I tell you what not super efficient but it works drop off my promotional items come on down to the sugar shack come on down to the sugar shack it is located next to the wall of fire across the way from the server mascot not sure who is building that quite a large wooden structure coming together looking quite nice I ran out of smooth stone let's uh let's finish off our little road entrance way bada bing bada bing you can see it is built in a small pond it's on four legs oh there it goes and I surround it with sugarcane, which if you need to, you can harvest this the old fashioned way. Uh, but I think uh, within a few days, that chest will be full. No problem. There it goes again. Right, how's that look? How's that? Bring it out a little more. Little mo, and this road will, I'm assuming, come straight through. First little shop that I have made for this server, and if we continue on this way, see the location I have chosen for the Tater Hut 2.0. I think it'll be a good spot. Let's actually go bank mine. Ha! I actually turn this guy red, this guy black. No, I think he may have been black. And we got a green one here. Thank you. Alright, let's continue on. So from spawn you will pass my sugar cane farm and then my tater hut and come to my spawn house loads in front of us partly there it is and standing this close it's a pretty large structure you know, I see it mostly from far away. I think it's coming together nicely. I've trimmed this wall back. Made a small moat, I would call it. I like it. I am going to get into safety. Oh yeah, real safe. <laughs> there were three Endermen in here one night. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the sugar, sh uh, sugar, sugar shack. Come on down to the sugar shack. Come on down to the sugar shack. <laughs> All right. I have been making some carpets. I want to get some wool. Those are the first sheep I have sheared. What are we talking about? Yeah. I should get a hundred dogs. Ha. Uh, hey, NV. Uh, dogs are good until somebody hits them and they all attack somebody that you don't want them to attack. 
Alright, I am going to head back to base and get back to work. I just wanted to show off the sugar shack. Uh, it was something I just threw together real quick. Didn't want to do it on camera. I actually did it when nobody else was online. Got it built and running. No problem. Hopefully it gets some use and people uh, show it off. <laughs> but I will see you in a few minutes. Welcome back everybody. I am up here just surveying my land. I am definitely going to build a tower on this hilltop behind me. And... I am thinking of building a road along the edge coming out of the center of that building back there up to here and then connect to the hill behind me where that little cave is that is the entrance to my skelly spawner cave setup I got going That's definitely a lot of stuff left to do in my spawn area I'm going to put the potato hut in and a tower here continue working on that building there looks very nice uh, but I still have a lot to do down below I am enjoying building down there so we will continue with that got some pets running around Nice flowers in my field. Jefferson's base. Oh, I have uh, 30 levels. We are going to enchant a new helmet. I will keep this for my nether gear. I have, uh, I will show you, I have a good fire protection kit going. It's over there. Cooking up some stuff. Skellies are spawning. Let's drop 30 on a helmet. Very cool. That gives me a full protection for diamond outfit. I am very happy with that. I can work on books, hopefully get some thorns. Let's see how much one of these bad boys is. Doop a doo and a little whoop a doo, nine points. I can get that in no time. Alright. So wheat. You can see my book collection is getting up there. Sharpness wait, I have a sharpness three. I thought I had a better one than that. A smite 4, unbreaking 3. I thought I had a sharpness 4. That's alright. Let's uh, head over to the base. Push the button. Mine the blocks. Put the blocks back. Fully automatic. I have made a new pathway up to here. I still have to finish the entrance way. I like it. And this area is new. Just a little hallway decoration before you enter my great room. So let's go talk about that. I saw, or I started watching Ethos series again when he reset his map. To the world he's on now and he built uh, some villages or houses and I am thinking of recreating that idea uh, almost in a vintage beef current series style with different color clays and nether quartz you know I have a house there a house there a house there a house here, 
No. And probably no structures in the center. I may put my beacon here. Uh, definitely have some digging to do. Uh, so I may drop the beacon here, put on haste, and clean this area up a lot. I think that will be very cool. And go to the top. I would have to make one hole at least for the beacon. Let's see where it is on the surface. I am not sure how that this comes up. Yeah. Tons of caves all over the place here. Very nice. New hallway. New nether portal location. And we are going to drop off our new nether helmet. I have fire protection for gear. I got it if you need it. Chop down my wall of tree. I will probably fix this area up some. Move the tree over here. I want to put different flowers. I was bone mealing it, hoping uh, something else would grow. Uh, definitely a rose bush and some lilacs. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. This river uh, flows to nowhere. Get these boring yellow flowers out of my life. Give me a rose bush. Yeah. Lilac. Yeah. And. Yeah. Those little yellows can stay. That's okay. Let me out. Let me out. Ooh. Uh, yeah. I need some vines. What do we got here? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Get some more tall grass up there. Tall grass. There we go. Very nice. Do I have vines? No. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna put one of those. That'll look cool. That's cool. Boop. Sweet. I need more spruce wood. I ran out of spruce wood and haven't been back to the mushroom biome or the snow biome, both behind me. I like this little guy here. Definitely will keep this piece. I will fill this in with something. I still need to build a pumpkin patch. And down here we have automated cookery. Put the cobble in, put the coal in, and it cooks it. I did uh, a batch of gold and some beef. These two furnaces are not hooked up. These are just for general cooking purpose. Uh, but you see these always fill up. There's a double chest full of each in there. Almost double chest. Uh, but they will constantly fill up. Any new resources I come by, I will put in there. If I do need to... Right now, I don't have any. Let's take some. Perfect. Alright. Drop off the beef, and we'll call it a day. Lots of beef. Let's take 14 with us. Ah, let's live, live large with 28. Sweet. Well, I thank you as always, and until next time, we'll see you.